What's up guys, my name is Brandon and about two weeks after the release of Beta 1, Apple returns today with iOS 15.4 Beta 2 to register developers. And for public beta testers, you guys should be seeing this update very soon. Now in addition to this iOS release, we also got iPadOS 15.4 Beta 2, tvOS 15.4 Beta 2, HomePod OS 15.4 Beta 2, WatchOS 8.5 Beta 2, and macOS Monterey 12.3. Beta 2. But in this video, of course, we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS and what's new in the software, along with when to expect the next beta and eventually the final release. All right, so let's first start off with the size of this update. And you can see here, it came in close to 900 megabytes on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. That is coming from beta one. So a pretty large size for a second beta. Of course, that size will vary depending on your device and the version you're coming from, but it should be around that size if you're coming from beta one. So let's go ahead and check out the build number for this new build, settings general about 15.4. We can see the new build number there is 19E5219E. So we do have an E at the end of the build number, which indicates we have at least a couple more betas to go before final. And if we go down to the modem firmware, you can see that has also been updated to 1.57.00. All right, so now what's new here in this update? And earlier this morning, Apple officially announced the tap to pay feature coming to the iPhone. And now iOS 15.4 beta 2 adds the code, the framework for this feature. So this feature is going to allow the iPhone 10s and newer to accept credit card payments without any additional hardware needed. So before you'd have to use a square reader or something like that to accept payment from credit cards. But now with this new feature, you're not even going to need that. You're just going to need to tap your iPhone on another iPhone. It's awesome. So of course, Android has had this. This is not something brand new that Apple's doing, but it is very nice to see. Obviously a big hit to Square with their Square Reader, but this is going to be awesome for small business owners, for food trucks and things like that. So the framework is there and it's likely going to launch with iOS 15.4 sometime next month. And Stripe has already announced that they're going to be the first payment platform to offer tap to pay on the iPhone. And Apple stores in the US will also roll out support for this feature later this year. So that is awesome. And there's nothing we could see here visually in this update that indicates anything about this. But again, it is inside of the code of iOS 15.4 beta 2. Now, if we head into our settings and go to our face ID and passcode, and if we go down to where we have, of course, use face ID with a mask, the biggest feature in iOS 15.4, if we go to add glasses right here, you will notice that the verbiage has changed from beta one. You can see that this is what it said in beta one, and here's what it says in beta two. So now up top, it says face ID instead of saying add glasses, and also the verbiage has changed there as well. And speaking of face ID with a mask, we also have a new prompt now when we actually go to unlock our iPhone with a mask over our face. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my mask over my face and go ahead and try to unlock my phone and take a look at this. It says, look down to unlock. So that is new here in beta two. I did not see that in beta one. And that is only when you have a mask on and you have face ID with a mask set up. And if I look down right here, you can see it unlocks and works fine. And I will say that after using this feature a couple of times in the second beta, it definitely feels more accurate and better than beta one, which is really saying something because beta one, it worked pretty much just fine, but it's even faster now and more accurate with beta two. And we also now have that new prompt that says look down to unlock. Also, if we go into the app store and then tap on our profile picture up in the top right, and then to notifications, this is a new section right here inside of the app store for notifications, you get the option to turn on or off notifications for new features and updates and recommendations and offers. And if we head back into our settings and then go all the way down to Safari and then down to the bottom to advanced and then experimental features, there's a couple things in here that are changed. So built-in web notifications is new. That was actually there in beta one. I mentioned it, but I never showed the actual toggle that is new right there. And then all the way at the bottom, we also have a new option to reset all to default. So it can get kind of confusing sometimes if you change a lot of these experimental features 
and you kind of lose track of which ones you enabled. So now you get the option to reset all to defaults if you want to. We also get a couple of tidbits from Steve Moser here who found some things in the code. First up, he says, Apple is working on letting users report narration issues in Apple Books in 15.4 Beta 2. There's also a new COVID-19 card, health card type, and health kit. And then related to the digital driver's license, there's a string of code that says, find out when your driver's license or state ID is ready to use and get important updates about your ID. Now, as far as bug fixes go, we do have quite a few in this update. So first off, the ESPN app now works properly. So if you had issues with ESPN crashing on beta one, like I talked about in my initial what's new video, it now works properly. Also, if you'd like to print from your photos application, that now works properly. So if you go down here to print, you can see it doesn't crash anymore and you can select the photos to print properly. Also, some people had issues where their LTE and 5G would just switch back and forth nonstop. That appears to be fixed here in beta two, according to those who had the issue with beta one. And then if we look at the release notes, you can see a couple more resolved issues here in beta two. First off with iCloud, it says fixed. Email address verification may not complete during the setup of an iCloud plus custom email domain on iOS. And then we also have a couple of resolved bugs for HealthKit related to the EU digital COVID certificates. But those were the only three bugs mentioned that were resolved here with beta two. Now. For those still having the storage bugs, if you go to your settings, general iPhone storage, you know, a lot of people are saying that this is still bugged out, but they're just not giving it a chance to update. So sometimes, especially after freshly, you know, updating your device, it needs time to kind of process everything and re-index everything. So it may take some time to show up right there. So give it some time. But for most people that has been fixed, if it is not for you, if it was not fixed in beta one, please let me know in a comment down below if it's been fixed for you with beta two. And then as far as remaining bugs go, we do have quite a few remaining bugs as well. First off, we have this important bug that was mentioned in the release notes with the second beta and it says that the 2021 ipad pro 12.9 and the 2018 ipad pro 11 inch can only update to ipad os 15.4 beta 2 from ipad os 15.4 beta one another bug that's still here with 15.4 beta 2 is that the airplay to home pod still does not work every time so i had this in beta one along with multiple other people this has really been an ongoing issue for quite a while now but there are still issues when airplaying to a home pod also if we go into our icloud settings and then go to icloud mail and then to custom email domain you can see that it just simply does not open so every time i tap on it it does not open it opened a couple times in beta one but now for whatever reason in beta 2 it just does not open at all no matter how many times I tap on it and then if we go back to our settings and go to general and then down to background app refresh and then all the way to the bottom you can see that we still have that web toggle so I'm not sure what that is and you can see we have no icon for it either so I'm not sure if that's gonna be a new feature with 15.4 or if it's just still a bugged out icon right there I don't even know what web relates to when we were talking about background app refresh unless it just means Safari so pretty strange but that's still there in beta 2 and then if you look at the release notes you can see quite a few known issues are still there with beta 2 and then also JP here on Twitter said that this update removed his air tags so that's a pretty strange bug not too sure why this update would remove the air tags but that could be an issue that you might face. I personally did not have any issues with my AirTags being removed on any device that I installed this on, but just keep that in mind, just in case it is a little bit more widespread than I think. Now, as far as the performance goes, performance is fine so far. I've had no app crashes yet, so it already feels a tad bit better than beta one. I will say that I have had some issues with Safari when I switch between different tabs right here you can see there's kind of a stutter just a little bit of lag it just doesn't feel as smooth as it did in beta one but aside from that i'm not really having too many issues with performance here i would expect it to be slightly better than beta one if you go to the geekbench scores here you can see i scored a 1747 on the single core and a 4867 on the multi-core if we compare that to beta one you can see the single core is higher by seven points but the multi-core is a little bit lower there and then keep in mind i will give you guys an update on the performance after i've used it for this entire week i will talk about that in my follow-up video that's coming on saturday and then as far as the battery life goes of course it's way too early to tell if battery life is better or worse but i would expect a slightly better 
battery life than beta one but we'll see it depends and of course i will give you guys an update on saturday along with the performance and of course i will find more new features and changes as well as the week goes on all right so now what's next for apple so next up is ios 15.4 beta 3 and i could see that coming next week although it's not going to come on monday because that of course is valentine's day so we could see it on the 15th or the 16th next week now there is also the possibility that we skip a week here and get a third beta on the week of the 21st i think that is a possibility but we'll have to wait and see what apple does if they do skip a week right here that will be the last time that they skip a week because we are expected to see ios 15.4 the final release in the first half of march and apple will be having an event most likely on tuesday the 8th so we could expect to see ios 15.4 roll out to the public either that day or sometime later on in the week and if that is the case that means that we could see a beta 3 next week beta 4 the following week and then rc and then final so that's why i think we will see beta 3 next week just because we will have time for multiple betas and an rc but of course we will see i will let you guys know any updates of course like always over on twitter but anyways guys there you have it that is ios 15.4 beta 2 definitely not as exciting as the first beta we don't have as many changes here with this update of course i will find more throughout the week and share those with you in my weekend follow-up on saturday but still it was an update i always like bringing you guys these updates and i cannot wait to see the tap to pay feature actually roll out to the public and people start using that that's pretty exciting but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video i would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and of course make sure to subscribe for a lot more ios 15 coverage so anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon